Yeah. Good morning, world. It is 9.30. I have a 10 o'clock appointment at this government facility for this crazy testing. There's like literally no way you can study for this, but it is the most important test of my entire life. I've taken it before and passed with flying colors, but there happened to be issues at the time in the hiring processes, so I have to go take this again. But I am almost 33 years old, and as an air traffic controller, you are not allowed to start that job after the day you turn 31, and you can't work it longer than after you turn 56. So, I got grandfathered in because of my special occasion and hard work that I have put in. So this is actually the last time I get to try to do this and get in here. So I'm taking off now, all cleaned up, ready to go, and heading out to determine the rest of my life. You know I'll still be playing poker, and you know I'll still own the center in Peru. I will just be that much more busier and enjoying life. This is my last shot at my dream career. Everything I went to college for, I've waited five years for this, basically. So, yeah, it's a big, big deal. Much love, see you on the flip side. You know what I just realized? I have to get my car stickered up. And we'll go drop my car off and get my car covered in some logos and stickers to hopefully attract some business and attention here in Las Vegas for those who are trying to find a safe place for ayahuasca. And show you how it came out. One, two, three, fuck it. Uh, I felt like I did better on this one than I did the last time, but it still felt like shit because that's what it's designed to do, to stress you the hell out. I didn't get any penalties, so that's good. Now we just wait 90 days, probably longer. I'll let you guys know. Thanks for coming with me, though. This next day after the exam, I didn't really do much. I was kind of mind warped after that crazy exam. Uh, that bright, that sun's too bright, okay. I have been working my fucking ass off the past three weeks. I'm already starting again to fall behind on my other channel. I have a few errands I need to run, a couple price checks I need to get, so... Let's just get out of here, man. It's 8.45. You know what, I lied, it's 9.15. 9.15 in the a.m. Sorry, it's still early, I'm just waking up. I'm sick of being stuck in this office and working my ass off. Let's go get something. I'm going to stop by and go hang out at a bar. I know a cute chick over there. So let's go see if she's working today. Also, for everybody who has been saying, what are you squatting at somebody's house and all these different things? Why is your car parked across the street, this and that? Well, guess what, everybody? My car is now not across the street. It is exactly where it belongs. Right in the front of my house. I'm trying to find my GoPro suction cup for the car. I think it's in here somewhere. Yahtzee! Plus, I don't want to lose this thing. $400 camera on the road would be pretty shitty. Just my opinion. And you know you got the safety cord just in case. One, two, three, fuck it.
Well, honestly, that went a lot better than planned. I believe I got a date. Cool ass chick. Works at the bar down the street from my house. I don't know if she'd call it a date yet, but that's okay. I'm willing to call it a date. Just got out of a meeting at Fast Signs. They were an amazing pe group of people. And what we're gonna do is get this car logoed up so we can have some driving advertisement here in the amazing city of Las Vegas. All right, we made it back to Fast Signs. We are here for the last time without any logos on the whip. So from this point on, it should change. Boom. And just like that, all done. Check it out. Let's go! What's up, guys? Alright, I've been in this car all day long since like 9 a.m. Got a lot of shit done. I'm feeling good. Now, it's time to go meet my homie Austin. You've seen him in the vlogs many times by now. We're gonna meet up with him. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Orleans. I had a pretty good run the last time I was at this tournament, and it was a Friday night. It was their biggest tournament. And I ended up going heads up with Elon Schwartz. He had me five to one, and I took it down. So it's been really weird because lately I've been thinking about this place a lot and like maybe I should go try that, maybe I should go try that. And the two guys that you know, Randy and Austin from the vlog, they called me and was like, hey, we're going down to play this Orleans tournament. We hear it's good on Friday, whatever, you know, whatever they said. And, I'll, and it's just like, wow, it's a sign. Our tournament starts in about 20 minutes. I'm late as always. I had a very productive day. And it would just top it off with uh, being here until 5 in the morning and winning first place. crazy day I literally have been non-stop throughout this day and I'm excited to kick back with my homies drink a Red Bull and peel some cards it's not often that you guys let's see if somebody will hit me no nope. because that'd be a good start to the day 20k in a crosswalk Oof. let's get into this casino I'm pretty sure everybody's still here my friends are amazing they even brought me some food so let's get in there Look who I found. These guys. Yeah, even if I don't four bet them before, you know. But even if I'm only in for eighty dollars pre with four twenty behind, and he's first to act on an ace queen X flop. Yeah. I'm probably still gonna lose the four twenty. Four betting is just what we do. I don't really care otherwise. Just screw the hand. Four bet. What's up, boys? The tournament's gearing up right now as we speak. I'm trying to shovel food down. We have like, I don't know, uh, the clock's not even up yet, but I think we have like 10 minutes till it starts. The place is packed. It's going to be a great turnout like always, and I am shoveling down my dinner so I can go have a quick moment to myself before the tournament starts, so let's get this done. As you guys know, I don't really play a lot of tournaments, but that doesn't mean I don't crush it. Because my original career in poker was tournaments, but moving to Vegas, I realized I needed to work on an hourly to actually make it as a poker player, which entails being able to crush a good hourly rate and then occasionally take that profit from the cash games and then put that into a tournament so you can bank a big tournament for free, more or less. There's just way too much variance in tournament poker to make a career out of it. You can easily buy into 20 tournaments and never do a damn thing and go broke. But if you can slowly milk and decide when to come in and out of a game based on how it is, it really helps your game selection by focusing on cash game. It helps you build your bankroll on a regular, consistent basis. 
in the well. Then you take stabs at these higher events, which help you if you cash in them, then it's a big bump for you. And everybody wants to win that big one and be famous, but you got to be able to put the little work in. It's like a basketball player. If he can't dribble and he can't do free throws and all those little things leading up to it, then he's not going to be able to really get that MVP, you know? So that's what it's all about to me. I'm going to finish this meal, guys. Wish me luck. I think I'm going to try to get some hands from the table. Otherwise, I'll keep you updated at breaks. I'm a sharing kind of guy, you know? Make sure you can reach it and we're good. Or even I didn't it. hear that when you were eating that chicken. Oh man, you want to bite? <laughs> All right, quick update. I got five minutes left on my break. Um, we've gone through about, I think, four blind levels. Um, I only have really three hands to talk about and they were within the first two rounds. Um, the first hand, actually it was the very, very first hand. I got three five in the big blind. Blinds are 50, 100. Um, it, go, it goes six ways to the flop. Obviously, I um, check my 3-5 off. Flop comes 3-5-3. Three, three. Dream? The small blind all of a sudden leads up for 200. So I just flat having the board crushed. Every other person ends up folding, surprisingly. So we go heads up to the turn. Turns an 8. He checks. I decide to check to show weakness like I'm drawing. I believe there was uh, two hearts on the board. Um, River comes a queen. He checks. And I bet 600 praying for a call, he tanks for a while, and makes the call. We take the hand down. The very next, yes it was the very next hand. I have ace jack on the small blind. Uh, everybody folds up to the button, which is the same guy. He raises the 200. I three bet to 650, and he folds. There were a few limps ahead of that too, so pot was pretty nice considering taking it down with a three bet. Oh my god. Nine trade jack, nine jack. How did all three of us end up at this one friggin' table? That's what I want to know. We deserve each other. I don't even get, I don't get that. It's so ridiculous. Blinds end up going up to 75, 150. Um, I look at, I peel up Ace King. There are five limps and I'm in the cutoff. I raise to 600. We get one collar. Flop comes 864 rainbow with one club. I see bet to 800. He thinks for a minute, calls. The turn is a three of clubs. He checks, and I check back. Obviously, straight possibilities can come in, and I want a pocket control here. And I have absolutely nothing, too, so hopefully the river can hit something I can represent at this point. River comes a king of spades. He checks, I bet 11.25. He tanks, and then raises to 3K. I end up flatting, and he turns over at 9, 10, told me he thought I was bluffing, and we take that one down. At that point, we're effective at 22,875. Right now, we are going back in. I think there's two minutes left on this level. Um, I now have been down. I've been raised in three bet a few times with some marginal holdings that I had to lay down. Um, also on the table with two of my buddies, which is making this very difficult. I'm praying for uh, our table to be broken soon. Um, but I'm now going back in. I'm on the button. The antes, I think, are 50 blinds or 2-4. I could be correct. I don't know. I'll, I'll correct that later if wrong. 
and I have 18,800 effective. So, wish me luck. I am going to start knitting it up. Yeah, there's one guy that I have recognized a betting pattern that is two players to my right, and I think I can exploit him. I just need to find the correct spot. So, let's go find that spot. Let's talk about that last level. I'm on a quick 10 minute break. Second break, I have 40,000 now. Um, it started off not that great on that last level. I um, ended up getting into a real funny spot. I raised pre, I opened with pocket eights. The guy next to me who is the chip leader at my table, flats, and I think maybe two other players flat. Then the flop comes jack, six, three, or something like that, or two a brick and there was two hearts on board so I check planning on check raising it gets checked checked to me I check and the the guy behind me makes a bet of 4,000 I raise to 10,000 which is basically half my stack and he puts me all in immediately snap puts me in I really think I'm good but basically he knows that I'm committed almost at that point so he wants me to call that's basically what it comes down to this guy wants me to call he knows I'm ba I should be committed at this point and I decide to lay the hand down he tells me as our table breaks he had fives Oh, so that was obviously, it was five, yeah, let's say that five on the flop, whatever. It was like five, jack, tray, two diamonds, so he had a set of fives. It was a beautiful lay down, thank God, that left me with 9,800. Then I ran a couple position raise bluffs, and then I danced with a queen nine hand and flopped a gutter. If I got a jack, I would hit the gutter. So it was like, what, eight, 10, queen. I make a big bet, like a pot size bet, three grand or so. I get, sorry, I had to run to my car to get some business cards. There's some people at the table that are very interested in ayahuasca. Speaking of which, if you guys wanna check out my channel, check it out here. It is amazing, thank you very much. Um, so I flop top pair with a gutter, I make a big bet, pot size bet, and I get like three or four callers. The turn is a diamond, which brings a backdoor diamond draw, five or seven, lower card. So I decide to ship at that point. She snap calls and the other guy folds. And she rolls over ace jack of diamonds. So she had a gut shot for her king with the nut flush draw, with turning the nut flush draw. River was a three of clubs. We double up to roughly 38,000. Won a couple little pots here and there, pulling down some blinds and putting some three bets in. I'm not recording my hands at the table right now, unfortunately, because my other camera is dead. It's charging, so I completely shut it off and I'm charging it. Hopefully what will happen is I'll just be able to write down and report these hands to you as they unfold. And once we get towards like the final table, the final tables, I'll have a really good charge on the other camera. And hopefully we can just record me taking down first place again back to back on this Friday. Orleans tournament. All right guys, I'm getting back in there Okay, we're back for the third break. I believe um, six minutes left in the break. There was 140 entrants We are down to 28 players left meaning only 10 more players go out and we hit the money all two all three of us Ryan needs you to pray for him. That's what he needs. I was pray for literally Ryan. down to 2,000 I couldn't even cover the big blind. I'm back up to 60. Randy's doing good. Austin's doing good. We're all still in, so we just need 10 more people to come off. Minimum payout is 240. First place is 3,702 or some bullshit. So uh, we're running pretty good. It's a little bit of a roller coaster, but as a whole, the whole group, the whole team is still in. 
and um, we are down to less than three tables. So hopefully we'll see all three of us. We've made it to the top 20%, but we got to get down to the top 12%. And, and that's just the reality of things. And that's doable, right? Austin's here too. How you? What's your sack at? Over 100. I don't know. Wow, I got about 60. Where are you at? 36. All right, so we're doing good. There's 10 more players off, and we're in the money. I pray I can show you guys a final table that all three of these faces are in. So yeah. let's, let's, let's get it. it. We just made the money. Short stack. I get all in ace queen versus ace jack. He hits a jack on the turn. A runner runner for a straight queen high. Doubled up. I have 55,500. There is 17 people left. It paid 18. And let's take a look at the clock. I'm still really short stacked. Let's get this, baby. All three of us are going to be at this final table. Let's do it. My very last hand, Ace King. I peel it. This motherfucker's got a stizak right now. Ace King. I raise, get re raised. I ship it, he snaps with aces. Boo! Finished 15th place for 270. This kid's still in it, and Randy Gbo just tripled, just tripped more than tripled up. Because the, the antes are fucking huge. It's like 12 grand in 12 the pot. 12 people left. 12 people Two left. From the final. Almost a final table. Man. I wish. So close. So all close. Three of us the final so table. close. How crazy is that three of us can make that all get in the money though? Like, we're that's we're sick. Hard. We're sick. What are the chances of that? So what's yeah. up with you lately? You stopped playing live a little bit and you've been focusing on the online grind. What's happening? Online. This is the first time I played live in months. <sighs> Man, we gotta. I think we just gotta get we the crew out. Line, you, know? you know, here and there, we gotta get the crew out. That is the night. Let's see what time is it here. 4.50. What did I get? 15th place out of 140. Pretty shitty, but I got Ace King. I was pretty short stacked. Got it in and ran into Aces. Randy got 9th or 8th place. Pocket 3s. He was a little short stacked and got it in against a 7. He was uh, ahead and the guy ended up catching up. And then Austin ended up in, I believe, fifth, where his pocket nines ran into aces. So, you know, a lot of just hands that play themselves at the end of a tournament that the blinds are so big and, you know, it starts to get to that one move kind of deal. But, man, that's pretty amazing. Us three friends went into a field of 140 people and we all cashed it together. That's incredible. So, we had a good night. Um, I know this is different. Typically we're in cash games, so figured switch it up, do a little uh, poker tournament for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, stick around for more to come. Peace out.